This is Ben McGahee with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is a math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about fractions and uh, solving word problems with fractions. So um, I have three example problems that we're going to work on. And the way that we're going to solve these uh, fraction word problems is we're going to read each part of the problem carefully and actually draw a picture to help us visualize what's given in the problem and how to find the missing piece in the problem. So let's start with the first example. It says John has broken a candy bar into four equal pieces. He ate three-fourths of the candy bar. What fraction of the candy bar does John have left over? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw um, candy bar. And then now we're going to break it up into four equal pieces. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll use brown because it's a chocolate candy bar and we're going to color in. Let's see, he ate three-fourths of the candy bar. So that would be, we have four pieces total so he ate three out of the four pieces and so what fraction of the candy bar does John have left over so we know that with fractions the denominator is how many pieces you have um, total which we have one two three four And the numerator will tell us how many pieces out of those four pieces total that, that John has left over, that he, he has not eaten. And we see there's only one piece um, right here that uh, he has not eaten. So the fraction of the candy bar that John has left over would be one out of four, or one-fourth. So John has one-fourth of the candy bar left over that he has not eaten. Okay, let's look at the, um, the second problem. We have Kathy has cut a pizza into eight equal slices. Five-eighths of the pizza remains. How many slices of pizza did Kathy eat? So we're going to draw a circle here. This is kind of like our whole pizza. And then we're just going to cut it into eight equal slices. So there's two. And when we cut another half, that's going to be four slices. And then we do it two more times diagonally we're going to get the eight equal slices of pizza. So this is how you cut a whole pizza. You know, if you cook a pizza in the oven, you just go cut down vertically, horizontally, and diagonally, and you get the eight pizzas. Okay, so she ate five-eighths of the pizza, or actually five-eighths of the pizza remains. Okay, so let's Let's uh, shade that part, the five eighths of the pizza. So that's five pieces out of eight pieces total. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so there is five pieces that remain. 
and then how many slices of pizza did Kathy eat? So those would be the slices that are not colored in red. So how many how many of those slices do we have? We have one, two, three. We have three slices of pizza left that Kathy actually ate. So out of eight pieces total, Kathy ate only three pieces. Three out of eight. Three eighths. But it says that how many slices of pizza, right, that Kathy eat. So we want to know the total number of slices. So this would be the, the numerator. So the number of slices that she ate were one, two, three. So three slices. So this would be our answer here. The three eighths, that was the fraction of the entire pizza that Kathy ate, but she ate three slices. Okay, let's look at the last example. We have a C jerk took a piece of paper and folded it into three equal rectangles. He colored one rectangle red and colored two rectangles blue. What fraction of the rectangles is red? So the first thing that we're going to do is let's draw a piece of paper. So that'll be our rectangle. And then we're going to um, divide it into three rectangles. Okay, so he folded it and made three rectangles. He colored one rectangle red and colored the other two blue. This is a... We can use this one. It's kind of a blue-gray. Blue. And then what fraction of the rectangles is red? Okay, so now we have we have three pieces total, you know, one, two, three, so that's going to be our denominator. And our numerator is, is the total number of rectangles that are red, which is only one. So there's only one rectangle that's red. So the fraction of the rectangles that's red is one out of three, or one third. One third of the rectangles is red. Okay. So we looked at three examples there for fractions with the word problems. And then now I got two problems for you to try on your own. Let's see what the first problem says. Um, Lamar ran two miles and walked three miles to his friend's house. What fraction of the entire trip did Lamar run? So what fraction of the entire trip did Lamar run? And then the second problem says Allison took a 10-minute math quiz in class today. She spent three minutes on the multiple choice part of the quiz and seven minutes on the short answer part of the quiz. What fraction did she spend on the short answer part of the quiz? So you want to know what fraction did she spend on the short answer part of the quiz? So I'll give you some time to work on those two problems. Feel free to pause the video and even rewind the video to review um, how to solve fraction word problems. Remember that the top number is the numerator, however many that you're looking for out of the total, and the total number of parts out of the whole is the denominator. That's the bottom number. 
And when you're done, we'll go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers. So, in the first one, we know Lamar ran two miles. And he walked three miles to his friend's house. What fraction of the entire trip did Lamar run? So we could just draw a picture here, like a bar. And we know that two parts on the trip He did some running. So we'll color that. There we go. So we'll color that in green. First two parts. And then the second part of the trip he walked three miles. So there's three parts of running. So what fraction of the tire trip did Lamar run? So the running came first. Those were the green parts. One, two. And how many parts do we have total? We have one, two, three, four, five. So we know that the denominator will be five because that's the total number of miles that he ran and walked together. Two plus three is five. And the fraction of the entire trip Lamar ran was two miles or two. So that'd be our numerator. So we have two over 5 or 2 fifths is the fraction of the entire trip Lamar run to his friend's house. Okay, so let's take a look at the second problem. It says Allison took a 10 minute math quiz in class today. She spent three minutes on the multiple choice part of the quiz and seven minutes on the short answer part of the quiz. What fraction did she spend on the short answer part of the quiz? So we want to know the short answer part of the quiz. What fraction? Well, we know she um, took uh, 10 minutes for the entire quiz. So it was a 10 minute math quiz. And in this case, we're going to try to do it without, without the picture. So we know that the denominator is the total number of minutes that she spent on the math quiz. So that would be 10. And she spent 3 minutes on the multiple choice part and 7 minutes on the short answer part. And so we want to know the the fraction for the short answer part. So we know seven minutes was spent on the short answer part. So seven would be our numerator. So seven out of ten would be the fraction she spent on the short answer part of the quiz or seven tenths. Okay, so we got two-fifths for the first one, seven-tenths for the second one. Let's take a look at those answers. Do they match up? They do. Two-fifths, seven-tenths. And if you got those um, answers right, well done. Great job. This is Ben McGahey, and I want to thank you for watching this video lesson on fraction with word problems. Please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.